every caucus has three elements that must be done right in order to be successful. Logistics, registration, and program. Joining me is Diane Tabelius, who has served on the Rules Committee of the national and state parties. Welcome, Diane. Thank you, Susan. County chairmen are responsible for following the rules as defined in the Caucus and Convention Manual, which you can find under the Resources tab on this website. Pay close attention to the calendar, because months before the caucus, the counties began the logistics function, which assures their caucuses run smoothly. By December, county chairmen should have asked their PCOs to choose a place to hold their individual precinct caucuses. The location should be convenient and accessible to all. In more populous areas, county chairmen may opt to hold pooled caucuses where many precincts meet together in large venues. Since hundreds of people may attend pooled caucuses, it is important to reserve space at schools, libraries, or other public buildings well ahead of time. Also in December, the county chairman submit all PCO names and contact information to the WSRP so that PCOs may be awarded automatic delegate status at their county conventions. By late January, the chairman must notify the state party and publicize their county caucus locations. So it's a good idea to post it on social media as well as notify the local newspaper and county elections department so that any Republican who wants to attend may do so. In addition, the state party will have a helpful precinct caucus locator tool where voters across the state can look up their precinct locations. Very good. Now you may ask how a forum that's open to the public can be sure its participants are really Republicans. We'll answer that in the next video.